Isn't this the best audio test that you've ever seen in your life? <laughs> Kyle, come on. Having a wireless audio solution when creating videos is arguably the most convenient way to capture audio because you're not using any cables, you simply plug it in and go. But with its convenience, oftentimes came the cost. And when getting a wireless audio solution, it usually costs it a pretty penny. That's why when the Rode Wireless Go came out, it was really cool because at $200, you were able to get quality wireless audio that you could rely on. However, Deity has now made their version of a wireless lab solution that is cost effective and feature packed. That's why in this video, we'll be putting them head to head to see how they sound in comparison to each other, the price, what you get in the bag, as well as its features to see which one you should go with when leveling up your audio solution. Let's go. You gotta just press record. Hey, what's up? It's Omar, it's Corey with Think Media, and this channel is all about the best tips and tools to help grow your influence using online video. And so we talk about what is the best gear to do so, whether it's audio, visual, or lighting, as well as some strategy to help grow your YouTube influence as well. So if you're interested, make sure to hit that subscribe button, but let's jump right into some tests. So now we're gonna do a more real life test, and I got both mics going at the same time. And uh, important to note that whatever mic I'm using, you will see at the bottom of the screen. But I definitely wanted to do like a one take different scenario thing. So right now, there's a slight breeze going on outside. Um, you know, Kyle is filming on the camera. And let me know what you think it sounds like in comparison. Also, I don't, I have the lavalier used because I think that that's what Deity wants you to use. Granted, they include it in the case. And so this is the audio test of the lavalier mic in this scenario. Uh, you can notice how like the road is just a lot more bigger, but you know, if you're outside and you're doing outside stuff, because that's what outside people do, uh, this might be something you might want. You know, there's, there's an AC unit going kind of a couple houses down, uh, but this is what it sounds like outside in a backyard. And we're just going to walk on in. Maybe you do real estate, maybe you're doing walkthroughs of things. Um, but this is what it sounds like, uh, in a, uh, kitchen slash living space and so uh, we got it going uh, this is there's a fan going right now I don't know if that'll affect the audio but now I'm pretty bad I'm pretty far away from Kyle maybe like 20 feet or so um, but this is what we're getting in a situation like this if you're a solo creator uh, and there was a loud car that just ran by what is this like a freaking people wind blowing at 2 p.m. in the afternoon but real life tests. Uh, th so there's a guy running, what is that, a leaf blower? A motorcycle or a go-ped? Go Who has go-peds nowadays? There's actually an echoey room that doesn't have much furniture. So let's see how it does with echo. Um, but like I said, if you're in real estate or something, this could be great. But this is a good test that might benefit you. So very echoey uh, living space. Um, and so this is how, what it sounds like on the Deity mic in a fairly echoey area. And this is how it sounds with the Rode Wireless Go 1 in a fairly echoey area. But this is a more real life test. Uh, I wanna do one more test that I think will be fun uh, because I'll do a test that actually requires a little more action. We're gonna go to the golf range and we're gonna hit some golf balls. Let's get it. All right, if you didn't know, I, as of late, I have taken up golf. We may not be in a at a golf range, but Kyle's back here, I got a nice little turf spot. But we're, we're switching between the two mics and I just wanted to do something with movement. I might even do some burpees because if you're in, into fitness and things like that. But I'm gonna grab me a nice little wedge because uh, we, wanna, we wanna get some real life tests here. Uh, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna swing. You can see the mic at the bottom of the screen. Judge my form if you golf. I went into the neighbor's yard, <laughs> but whatever. All right, next mic test. And you can see here, the, the way it clips on the road is kind of like impractical, which I love the, the lab for that reason. But let's see how this mic sounds when I hit and do some movements. That one stayed in with the twirl, I dropped the club. Now I'm ready to do some freaking burpees. Cause maybe you're into fitness or maybe you dance and maybe you wanna do like TikTok stuff or you wanna be like, yo, check me out, we're gonna do burpees. So now I'm just gonna do five burpees and then we're just gonna switch the audio so that you can get, isn't this the best audio test that you've ever seen in your life? <laughs> Kyle, come on. <laughs> so that is an audio test of some movement. Uh, if you're ever in Vegas, let's go golfing. 
Now, if you haven't shared your thoughts yet, let me know down in the comments what you thought between these two and be sure to check out the links down in the description below. If you wanna look at more features in regards to these mics, you can check those out. The Rode Wireless Go comes in at $200 and the Deity Pocket Wireless comes in at $170. So it is $30 cheaper to go with the Deity and these do both come in black and white. Now, although the Deity is $30 cheaper, you're actually gonna get more hardware and things uh, with the mic itself, which is really on a value standpoint, murders the Rode Wireless Go because when you buy the Deity at $170, you're gonna get the mic, two different cables, one USB-C to USB-C, as well as a USB-C to 3.5 millimeter, which allows you to also use with a smartphone, which is super nice. You're gonna get a nice hard carrying case to put it all in, a USB cable to charge, a dead cat to put on top of the lav to protect it from wind, and you also get a lav as well that you could clip onto your shirt. And so although you can use this lav mic all by itself, the fact that they actually included a lav in the kit really blows this out of the value water. Because the Rode Wireless Go at $200, doesn't come with much. It comes with a, a soft carrying case, USB charging cables, and a dead cat, and that's it. And then if you wanted to do anything else with this, you're just gonna have to accessorize it and pay extra money for all the things that Deity includes in the package. It's also important to note that if you are a smartphone creator, that they actually have a mobile kit that comes with a little stand as well as a phone clamp that holds the mic, and you can use it as a shotgun or wireless mic, but that comes in at $200. So legit if you really wanted to just get everything all in in one package the pocket wireless mobile kit is incredible for the value at 200 dollars. so as far as the value department when it comes to comparing these mics the deity definitely takes the cake because what an incredible price point for a wireless audio solution and you get the freaking lab bro now i do want to make a notable mention that the rode wireless go 2 has been released and does have incredible features like the ability to use this as a usb mic however the Rode Wireless Go 2 comes in at $300 and does have some features that might offset what you get with the Deity. We have a video on the Rode Wireless Go 2 if you wanna check that out, but because they're so similar in price, it just makes sense to compare these two. Now let's talk about some similarities and differences between these two mics. Both do have a 3.5 millimeter input. However, the Deity Pocket Wireless has a screw adapter, which definitely makes it more secure when you lock in a lavalier solution and is a pretty cool pro feature in my opinion for something that is uh, fairly affordable. But the Rode Wireless Go does not have that option and so if there's any tension pulled, you could disconnect the mic. And I know this has happened for a lot of creators um, as well as ourselves here at Think Media. That has happened once before because I don't like putting this mic on my shirt. It's really big. Um, and even though the Deity is a little bit smaller, uh, it's just nice to clip a lav on your shirt as opposed to these thick little guys that can clip on your shirt. Some people do it, but I would just prefer to use a lavalier solution. The Rode does have a longer battery life, up to seven hours, where the Deity has a five hour battery life. However, the Deity does charge up faster than the Rode. And so to get a complete charge on the Deity, it's a little bit more than half the time it takes to get the Rode fully charged, which is cool to know. They both take USB-C to charge, which is nice and convenient. And both receivers have display screens. However, I do like that Deity added this nice little quirky feature where you can flip the screen. So depending on how you mount this onto your camera or whatever device, you can flip it so that it's readable regardless of what side you are on the mic. Now, as far as performance goes, you're gonna get very similar results being that they both have a frequency type of 2.5 gigahertz and a range of about give or take 65 to 70 meters with the road being more closer to 70 and the Deity being closer to 65. But either way, these are both great mics to use as wireless audio solutions. And I think they're also beginner friendly because they're both plug and play options in regards to just being able to turn them on, clip them on your shirts and then start recording videos. Now I think hands down, just on paper, Deity knocked it out of the park with this mic. And if I were to choose between the two, I would just go with the Deity because of all that you get in the package, the ability to use this as a USB mic, you know, if you're doing live streams or Zoom calls, you're just getting a mic that you can do a lot with when many of these features are unlocked on the Rode Wireless Go 2, which is $100 more, but you still don't get the lav, 
You still don't get the nice carrying case and things like that. And so I really think DD knocked it out of the park with this and their mobile wireless kit for just $30 more. I think it's very competitive because you're getting everything you need if you're a smartphone creator, but if you're gonna use a mirrorless or DSLR to capture your video, you could still use the same mic kit that comes in the mobile kit for that reason. I just love when brands think about the creator journey because we want people to invest in lighting and mics and gear that lasts, especially with how fast things are being upgraded. But something like this will last you years and years and years if you just pay the upfront cost of 170 or $200, which I think is just super cool. And so shout out to Deity for making this. I would consider it the Rode Wireless Go killer, in my opinion, specifically the Rode Wireless Go one killer. But I would love to know your thoughts on this mic and how it compares to the Rode uh, Wireless Go. And if you wanna check out the review video we did on the Rode Wireless Go 2, which I believe is a different mic because of its features. And you can check that out by clicking or tapping the screen. And I can't wait to see you in a future video. Peace.